we are live we are live internet entrepreneurs so today we are back with another amazing interview another amazing interview so let's get actually started hey guys this is nikhil welcome back with another amazing interview today first of all welcome to this internet entrepreneurs freedom show where which is hosted by me the nikhil sai we are interviewing another trupama club award winner to this show right now it's going to be amazingly valuable so let's not wait anymore let's welcome albert uh, alberto and daniel Hi, hey guys hello how are you yeah we're doing great how about you we are excited to interview you today yeah thank yeah. you so much thank you for the opportunity we are so glad to be here yes <laughs> absolutely super excited for your amazing value because you know like considering what i like according to my personal connection and experience in the whole industry i've seen you guys done amazing level especially you know from italy right that's amazing i really love that part and yeah, first of all everyone must talk yeah. about not here in italy yeah <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i agree so everyone who is watching this please make sure to use hashtag live if you're watching this live and use hashtag replay if you're watching this on replay any questions please welcome just keep it on chat alberto and daniel will be available to answer them right now so make sure to share this amazing session because these dudes are amazing they are going to provide insane amount of value on this session so just stick with this and let's get actually started so alberto and daniel why don't you start with your back story like how did you actually get started for the session okay so we started uh, from two different places so uh, we took two different uh, roads I started when I was uh, 22 years old, uh, just finished school when uh, when I to when talking with a friend and um, only in, the, in my hometown, and uh, I started to see study and be int interested in uh, marketing and all the stuff around it. So um, I was the the shadow of uh, this Italian marketer. And uh, for two years, and uh, after that, uh, I met uh, Daniele and the other guys of the of the team. Uh, now it's three years that we work together, and um, beside all the achievements, uh, we know we are just uh, at the beginning, and we wanna go up. Too much. Yeah. <laughs> Daniele, start uh, <laughs> another another way. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the same story. It's, uh, I started uh, three eight years ago. Uh, I was just studying Facebook ads. Then uh, I I just need a, a, a guy that uh, was able to, uh, to buy the funnel. So I I met with Alberto and uh, yes. we started together. He's uh, just the Facebook advertiser Facebook. and the funnel builder. So we had two different uh, two different way. After in the next uh, question we will talk about that. But it's just three different because uh, we know different things, totally different. Uh, Nikki, I can't hear you another times. I'm sorry, but I don't know why. Oh, now, I'm out of it right now. I can I can hear you now. I don't know. Why. I'm really I'm really going down the, the audio. Okay, right. it's, it's heavily raining right now, so I really apologize with the network error. But yeah, so the thing is, like you guys are completely in a different niche, but you combinedly became a team, and now you're killing it, right? So let's get into the deep dive of your story. So, like, guys, like you are specialist at running Facebook ads, and you're specialist at doing funnels, right? So you know, like a magic sauce, or maybe like some ninja tips which a lot of people don't, right? So like, can you let us know, like, a blueprint which you follow when you get a client? Like, how are you going to make an offer convert? How do you sell anything? Okay, so uh, we start every time with a meeting. As mm -hmm. I said before, we are six, so we start with that meeting. We we talk about uh, uh, what uh, we can do and we can do with the kind of business, with the kind of uh, target where we are talking about. After mm -hmm. that meeting, each of us start working on his area of competence, try to complete all the tasks before the the ending, uh, the end data uh, during uh, during that. Uh, fortunately, uh, each of us is capable of understanding what kind of job and how long will it take to be completed. So uh, I think this is one of our best skills uh, so far. Wow, that's great. When we start mm -hmm. running a campaign, uh, that's the magic begins. Well, because uh, looking at the data we are uh, gathering, uh, we create and modify pages depending on uh, the, the user behavior. Mm -hmm. so, we call that kind of strategy Matrioska funnel. 
absolutely we, that's like ninja strategy i'm not sure how many people are getting this but what you guys are saying is absolutely insane right so you actually understand the pattern behaviors of how people are reacting to your ads and funnels then you optimize them accordingly and then you make actually funnels convert much better correct yeah. Well, of course, this is the only way to convert better because if you don't understand the behavior of uh, of your uh, user, yeah. you can't convert. It's mm -hmm. not. A yeah, that... our opinion is not a possible. You can have all the tools you want, all the stuff you want. You can study all uh, all the marketing strategies you want, but if you don't yeah, understand sure. the user behavior, you can't convert. Absolutely. So yeah, that's what people do a lot of mistake. Like who want to sell their offers. They do a lot of mistake. They don't really see the pattern or behavior of the customer. They just create an offer. They want to sell it. They go to a Facebook ad guy. They go to a funnel guy. But they don't really understand the pattern behavior. That's where the actual key lies, right? That's amazing. And guys, I have another question for you. So, yes. like, do funnels play a key role in scaling a business? Like, according to you, do you think funnels play a key role inside a business to scale it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Because of the Matrioska funnel, uh, we we modified all. All of our pages, uh, depending of behaviors of the, of, the, of the users, so the action of the users. Yeah. So our funnel are uh, fundamental for uh, for our for our business yeah. uh, because um, we try to give always less information to each step. Uh, each of this information is every time a little bit more oriented on sales. Um, this is a generic scheme, of course, but because. Yeah. Uh, we, we need to talk about the, the ad spending of our client, the business we are talking about, of course, the mm -hmm. behavior of the target. So a generic scheme is that the Matrioska trying to convert uh, each step uh, a little bit more. But you have to do uh, that kind of, um, of study after understood the business and the target and behavior of uh, your users. I completely agree. So you mean that whenever a funnel converts, it should be actually resonating with the audience, right? You just can't go into click funnels or any other funnel building platform and build out it and guess it's going to make you money. And you should be having the right story or right folks and right content, which will actually persuade, which resonates with your customer data and actually makes sales, right? And right. then you optimize it again and again. Too much marketing Absolutely. for the, the, the psychology of the marketing. Mm -hmm. and this is yeah, a, key. a lot of people miss this right actually Albert like a lot of people actually miss this out right don't they don't use psychology they don't use the emotional elements inside a funnel they just put out product information like they do in Amazon and they expect sales while they do Facebook ads but that's not how it works yeah. right absolutely yeah. absolutely and guys like I believe I believe you're into a lot of agency stuff if I'm not wrong correct so you, you are completely into agency serving clients helping them scale their businesses. Am I right? Yes, yes, we are a uh, bit... Uh, um, no, yeah, of course, we, we work with, uh, yeah, with all, yeah. all kinds of, uh, of business. Well, we tried to do... Um, um, two or three years ago, we did a, a course too, an online mm -hmm. course. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but we, understood, we understood that uh, our... Uh, Best way is to to help business to to achieve the their goals. That is, that's like your core vision, right? That's like your main yeah. vision of helping business to scale. And that's a great one, absolutely. So, like as you're already an existing agency and as you're already handling high quality clients, high paying clients, like what do you think is the best strategy to attract clients? Like how are you filling out your pipeline? How are you getting consistent leads or sales for your online business, especially okay. agency business? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. First of all, we, we start with the lead generation. Uh, mm -hmm. I started with uh, many, many campaigns for, uh, for see what is uh, more, uh, where is the CPC and the CPL uh, more or uh, less. Okay. Then uh, we start with a full funnel of evergreen retargeting and uh, we see where we convert. Mm -hmm. To talk okay, about, so I, know, I know I repeat every time the same thing, but. Uh, yeah. Talking about the behavior, uh, we we know that strategies are uh, um, controlled about the behavior because you can you can put the, to them the I don't know free video you can put to them uh, ebook you can put to them uh, webinar what kind what all kind of sort you you want to put but uh, if you don't understand perfectly uh, what what are the deepest fears 
Mm-hmm. They won't leave your they they may they won't leave the email. They won't uh, watch the the video. They won't mm-hmm. give you money. They won't they won't put. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. You you lose the trust instance, right? You lose the trust from beginning. I think uh, talk about marketing uh, uh, like a big mountain, but for me. Mm-hmm. It's totally about the, the psychology and the behavior, uh, the, the ability to, to talk uh, with your client, to, to be understood uh, from your client, to, to, to have the ability to, to say to people, hey man, you need this. You don't know, but you need this. <laughs> yeah, it's like solving the real problem which they have, right? So you just need to be putting in the right messaging, right? If you have the right messaging in front of the right audience, it's going to convert it's going to make the money and make you money as well right it's going to benefit each other that's an exchange of value absolutely and uh, another other things uh, i saw in these years is that um, it's a cycle mm-hmm. sometimes people talk about webinar do you all want to see webinar after uh, six or seven months or people say oh my god we told with this web did that the web i'm sorry and uh, they started with uh, an ebook after a few months, oh my God, oh, all people talk about a book and they start at the time with uh, the three videos. So, in my opinion, uh, it's not about the, the book, the video, or the, or the, the web here, so. Absolutely. So, it, it's like the pattern, right? So, there is always a hype going on in the market, right? So, you just need to do the right thing. It's not about what lead magnet you are giving, what offer you sell, right? It just resonates with the audience and just make sure that something which you're offering is valuable in the marketplace. And which will actually sell like we just need to make sure that someone is ready to pay the money for what we're offering that's how we can actually make money correct of course of course man absolutely <laughs> and <laughs> always a uh, uh, same gift but uh, with other packaging mm-hmm. absolutely absolutely buddy so like as you're already into this business and helping out your clients with you know facebook ads and funnels and I think you already know as an agency and as you're handling number of clients, you know that how powerful follow-ups are, right? Like as you have already done multiple follow-up systems inside your business and your client's business, like what do you think like a perfect follow-up system look like? Like do you think they need emails, a chatbot, an SMS, phone follow-ups, everything as well? Or do you think like having one or two streams? Or what do you think is the best follow-up strategy to get more clients or get more people joining the program again and again? Uh, we use all. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, first of all, uh, ever been retargeting by Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Uh, then we mm-hmm. use chatbot and uh, email marketing with uh, active campaigns, uh, and uh, we give uh, the people a tag. So uh, we we know uh, what uh, this uh, uh, yeah, person is doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, exactly. Yeah. You track everything. Yeah, sounds great. So oh. yeah, you, you track the whole behavior on the social media. Then you retarget them with the right follow-up according to their ideal situation. We right? Yeah, we understand that omnipresence is the yeah. is the key. Uh, mm-hmm. When we started from uh, maybe what two years with e-commerce, yeah, mm-hmm. two years with e-commerce, and we discovered that SMS marketing is something of stunning. Which, uh, people 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 open every time to SMS because they are not uh, uh, w- when they see on on phone the, the SMS. They say, what's that? So they open Absolutely. before yeah. before to start with the com. Uh, we never thought that uh, uh, SMS was a, a good stuff. We we try with WhatsApp. I don't know with uh, with um, with uh, an email. But after we we entered in the e-commerce world, we understood that omnipresence the in e-commerce mm-hmm. in the in the in the info product world too is the key. Mm-hmm. So we use all, all the, we use all the platform we can use. Yeah. Uh, that makes a lot of sense yeah so yeah you just need to be grabbing attention every single way possible on facebook be on facebook be on instagram be on youtube be on their sms be on their email be on their messenger chat so try to be everywhere so that you know they see you again and again so that builds a subconscious trust and mostly get them as your customer and as you say like messenger marketing sorry sms marketing is so powerful like it's not saturated yet right like email marketing is ultra saturated right now i mean there is also a lot of money in it but still, people are addicted to email marketing, right? Marketers, especially. Customers are not opening their emails because their Maybe emails are becoming gen box. The problem yeah. is the email, that one. It, because it's, it's gratis, the meaning gratis, in my opinion, destroy a bit the powerful of the email. Because some, some marketers use emails uh, 
every 10 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, uh, without understanding that people are bored about stupid things they they send. Absolutely. People, Absolutely. Uh, people, uh, when I read the stuff, powerful stuff, no, every time they said, okay, I'm going to eat, uh, let's let us know, uh, and send an email. People uh, does not, doesn't love that things, but more, much marketers don't, doesn't understand that. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, that's what really going wrong in the email marketing and people actually need to learn how they can be doing the right way, especially the follow up system. I mean, like maybe like trying something like e-commerce, like you did in SMS, right? People should also try that or maybe see like if their customers where they're hanging out, if they're on Pinterest, just try ads on there. Just understand the pattern and be in the place, right? And as we have Daniel, who's like Facebook and Ninja here, right? So let's get more, like more about like like how to use social media advertising the right way because like there are a lot of people who complain like ah Facebook ads is costly Facebook ad doesn't work it gets shut down like crazy like how to use Facebook ads the right way. So uh, I start with uh, a, a really a big investment in uh, the first in test, uh, testing phase. Okay, when uh, I see what is it's working, I optimize with uh, maybe look at likes if I. Then I, I go to scale and uh, in the same time I go to create an evergreen funnel uh, for retargeting. Okay, it is uh, so I just uh, push from the cold a lot of traffic that uh, that enter into into circle for uh, going uh, for position but the conversion for taking conversion. Taking conversion. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So actually, you take cold audience, you warm yeah. them up, use a different funnel, right? Yeah. Like, course, like say, uh, say that we, we work, we work uh, together. So yeah. he, he calls me, uh, come here, come here. Uh, I have a problem with uh, this chitier. Come here, come here. Okay, and I go yeah. to recreate another page because uh, of people yeah. that does not click that button. Okay, and we started. So we we call Matrioska because it's sometimes we have uh, maybe a uh, hundred Matrioska inside the first one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Like Alberto said, the secret is the omnipresence with, uh, with Facebook too, with the Instagram uh, uh, chatbot. And uh, um, what I want to, to do is uh, the great CPC uh, lower, the lower as possible, lower as as possible. possible. and increase it here. And uh, because uh, in this period, uh, the CPM is really, really high. So we need to create a really nice content for uh, attract the attention from uh, the people. Got it. That's a golden nugget, actually. I'm not sure how many people are getting this, but that was absolutely insane, right? So, like, guys, just to make it simple, when you're trying Facebook ads, try to keep it simple and create a good content, which will actually get your CTR more. So, indirectly, you're getting your cost per click down, right? So, it's yep. like saving thousands of marketing dollars. And as Daniel mentioned, just push cold traffic, just warm them up, then use a different campaign to retarget them with a different funnel. That's when you pitch. Right. You can you can represent every time same things to people. People are bored about the uh, seeing always same thing. You can you can even change uh, a background or even change uh, a part of a text to say same same the same thing. But people see new 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 things uh, aren't bored. Yeah. No, 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 Maybe you can uh, see us, but we can't see you uh, another time. Nikhil. Adesso. I'm I'm really sorry, guys. I really do apologize. No problem. Thank you. We are here. Uh, the we... network is crazy here. It's, it's kind of crazy. This never happened. Yeah, no problem. And uh, yeah, I'm really sorry for that, guys. So yeah, where were you at? Yeah, you're saying more about Facebook ads stuff. And the same, and the secret that uh, works for uh, we need to come mm -hmm. up is uh, controversial marketing. Like, can you explain? Like, it's like a very interesting term. Like, can you explain well, how does that work? Uh, I can you I can you uh, make a, an example. For example, I'm I'm selling a, a course that uh, does trading. Okay, mm -hmm. so I 
uh, go to target the people that make trading uh, and uh, say to them uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, goodbye trading. So the people that uh, is doing trading, uh, trading uh, thing, uh, why goodbye trading? So uh, go in uh, our funnel and uh, we uh, try to convert them to our system to make trading. Got it. Got it. So use someone else's traffic, right? Is going Absolutely. to the from uh, the trader. So he said, yeah. "What can you say? What what do <laughs> you by trading? Literally, yeah. literally, <laughs> Absolutely. And as we were discussing about like decreasing the CTR, you know, like you know, sorry, increasing the CTR of every single creative. Like, what do you think? What kind of creators works best? Like, do you think video creators works best, or image creators give the best results? Like, what's in your opinion? Image and uh, usually uh, use GIF. But at the moment, uh, image. And when uh, I scale, I use uh, dynamic ads always. Dynamic ads with tight budget. Oh, so when you scale, you're using dynamic ads. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds interesting, actually, because I see a lot of people use the same post ID when they use scale and you know just to get more social proof and get stuff like that. But this is interesting that you're using dynamic ads. It's like that. Oh, what? In the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, you should learn the scale of how to tune in and get attention of the people in this era because there is very short attention span, right? So you should be using your ads the right way to get click throughs. That's how you can decrease your C CPC, right? And guys, like as you're already doing big things, as you are already multiple to come club our winners here on the screen, guys. Shout out to both of you. So like, what tools are so, but like how do you manage everything like what tools or services which you use personally for yourself and manage clients do you want to name any okay um really we, we do not use too much uh, um, tools I, mm -hmm. I, I have to be honest uh we use uh, of course facebook and uh, page builder I'm very good with, uh, or, uh, very elementor mm -hmm. he sometimes. use he use sometimes a real bot mm -hmm. Uh, we use just uh, that and uh, Asana to organize all, all our stuff because uh, uh, we, we understand after hours and hours of work that uh, our power is about the fast and powerful change we can do and uh, in seconds, not minutes. So um, created uh, that kind of to tools uh, and, uh, are not so powerful like uh, the rules of that tool. Are not so powerful like uh, we are able to test. Maybe mm -hmm. we are lucky because we are uh, six, seven people inside here, so we ha we have the time and the possibility to test some stuff. Because uh, if a video does not work, uh, we say to the video maker, "Okay, let's go and make another video or put it to uh, create another image, and we can test." Yeah. Maybe if you work alone, you need to use some tools. But what uh, we, we understood is that uh, if you don't use too much tools that uh, says we are here to help you, you can do mm -hmm. numbers. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's a great answer, actually. You know, like you're not complicating the stuff. You're, you're trying to keep it as simple as possible. And that's great that you're not using any external third party tools, especially in your agency. Like, do you use any productivity management tools like, you know, Trello, Asana, or like how do you manage clients, Voxer, stuff like that? Ah, yes, of course. I'm sorry, I, I forgot it. But yes, we use uh, I, uh, inside of uh, the team. We use uh, mm -hmm. to organize all the stuff, the, the the different business, the materials, the the access, all the stuff. But just uh, in uh, in our team, yeah. inside our mm -hmm. team. No, that's cool. That's cool. With other business, uh, we we ask them uh, at the start. Uh, um, in, inside that, uh, what, what's your goal? Uh, what's your business? Give us images. Give us. Uh, all that thing after that we we call them and then our, our constant contact because we are uh, fast to change that things so we we need to talk every day with, uh, with uh, <laughs> absolutely so you'll always have like people coming into your pipeline looking to speak to you and get your service right so that's exciting every single day right there is a motivation to wake up actually right that's a great stuff and like just a quick question from my side personally like do you run ads for your own agency like do you advertise yourself like hey dude like we are Prospect Academy would love to help you. So, do you do that kind of stuff? No, no just for our uh, old course, uh, but for uh, our agency, no. Uh, yeah, with the Tukama Club, the clients uh, arrive uh, without advertising. It's a bit. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> That's insane. Say no to some clients. Yeah. We, we, 
maybe we, we was lucky. But we uh, here in Italy, there's no much uh, people who are open to that kind of work. Sometimes we don't say go to work because they, in their mind, we are not working here. So yeah. this is a lucky for us. This is lucky for us because we have too much uh, possibility to work. We, I we, completely understand. Yeah. So yeah. you have a full pipeline of people, and sometimes if you don't think that the client is right fit, you just need to say no. And you know, like. That's crazy that you didn't do ads for your personal agency, but you still scale it to seven figures and beyond. And now you're also killing it with agency stuff. In the meantime, selling it for products and stuff like that. So, like, just curious, like, do you sell it for products like to the Italian market itself, or do you target worldwide? No, no, no. We sell we're, we're, we sell in, uh, in Italy, in Italy, and Europe with e-commerce. Uh, Europe, Europe, Europe sure. market. Just, uh, just for now, just in Italy. Yeah. Uh, we had in mind to. We have in mind to. To open one of that info product in, uh, in all over Europe uh, in the next few months. But wow, for now, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, like people have this misconception of, you know, making business successful if they are from entire one countries or, you know, just like that partiality of being like, oh, you know, I, I need to sell in US dollars to be in a two comma club and stuff like that. But you broke it completely, right? You broke it down, you know, being in Italian market and making multiple like million dollars in sales by getting these crazy awards and stuff like that, right? So you should actually learn from the guys whoever is watching. Just get inspired. These dudes, like they're not even old enough, right? They're doing crazy stuff right now, killing it in business and agency stuff as well. You just get motivated of how they're doing it, right? And as you're saying, they're keeping it simple. They're being consistent and they're following the same ritual every single time. They don't reinvent the wheel. That's the whole key of winning it, right? Try to reinvent the wheel. If you try to reinvent the wheel, you are failing. Of course, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. If uh, if somebody if they don't want to hear that, but for me, it's true that that is true. You can change, you can uh, um, modify that uh, for your business, for your goals, whatever you want. But you you do not reinvent the wheel. Absolutely. So you just need to model it. Don't reinvent it, right? When you reinvent it, it's gonna cost you much more, right? It's gonna cost you a thousand times more, probably. Time before money. That's it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, like a, a shotgun uh, for the business. <laughs> absolutely guys that that was absolutely insane so let's get into a quick question like 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 do you have any personal suggestion to a 20 year old or you or someone who is just starting out right now because you see a lot of people still want to start their own business they're youngsters or like maybe someone who's doing wrong things at the age like what is your personal suggestion for them or someone who is just starting out mm, if i told about my 20 years old uh, uh, I remember the inability to find a way and follow it. So I remember the, the tons of info I had and the impossibility to choose the best for me. And uh, mm -hmm. can, what, what want I say to a 20 years old now is to do not exceed. So even if you fail, uh, go study and try to find your way. Uh, if, you, if you think that uh, this is your way, Let's complete the way. Don't don't stop it uh, at the middle just because you fail or just because you you don't see the results. You need to continue, continue, continue. And uh, I, I know yeah, that yeah, yeah. maybe a twenty years old uh, listen to that quote every time. But this uh, this is the truth, man. You you have to continue. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So if you want to get the end goal, you should be in the process. You should get your skin in, right? It's not yeah. like you give up and you make fortune. That's that's never going to happen. Show me someone who did that. Zero people, right? You should be in it to get it. Before to start, uh, I listened to people that told, no, never give up, never give up, never give up. I say, okay, never give up. But old people say never give up. This is the truth. Never give up. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, never give up, right? You should be in it to get it. And how about you, Daniel? Like, what was like? What would be your suggestion to a twenty-year-old you? See, yeah, I just was finding uh, finding a way to be rich. Stop. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's like finding finding the vision much earlier, right? Uh, you're regretting it that you're already late to this game, maybe, right? So that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. So let's get into the next question. Like, you right. have done so many things in the whole journey. You've been scaling businesses, scaling your agency as well, so courses, won these awards like being reputed in the whole community, in the Italian market especially, like 
you know like being the gangsters in Delhi especially right like like what do you think are like the best biggest achievements in your life and what are your next goals uh personally um my, big, my biggest achievement sir, for now is to be part of the team so i'm very proud of that uh for 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 the for for the future uh we want to try to to grow that creator the prospect mm -hmm. person and uh, continue working ethically and uh, with the pleasure to do that because this is very very important uh wake up in the morning and came here with the with the smile with um happy to to do that i i don't think too much people can talk about uh, a work that uh, is uh, something they love to do so i think to have time to to be free because uh, if you organize uh, that kind of work you can you can be free and uh, mm -hmm. love is a too big uh, goal i i search, i search in my life Absolutely. So yeah, that that that's a great suggestion. Actually, a lot of people who are listening to this, you should pay attention because he gave you a golden advice to timestamp everything. You just need to you you complain. You're into business. You're into agency. You're selling your own course, offer product. You complain as you're in business. You don't have time for everything. But that's not true. See these dudes who are making millions and still manage everything. They wake up early. They have their exercise. They have the rituals. They have fun. They watch probably movies. They, they enjoy their life and still continue to do what they want to do. All right, so don't complain, just be it. And how about you, Daniel? Like, what are your big achievements or your next goals? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, just uh, work with uh, people uh, that I love. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I really feel the bond between you guys. Like, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, no, no, we, are, we are so much friends yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are uh, so lucky for that, too. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> they made uh, too much experience, like travel uh, and uh, nothing more travel experience. And uh, I love uh, study every day Facebook ads and this uh, this uh, and um, I reach uh, nice results of uh, this uh, is uh, a nice goal for me. So I'm uh, really really happy. And uh, yeah. then the goal to, is to try to be the best. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's always in, right? Let's let's go all in, you know. Absolutely. And just curious, Daniel, just asking when when someone is selling maybe like. Like consider it in three ways. When someone is selling a break-even product, like let's say just a customer acquisition product, which is like seven dollar, thirty-seven dollar, like what should be the usual budget they should keep to test it, or you know, make sure that we get enough data to whether to keep it running or just break it down and try something else. Like what would be the budget, ad budget, which uh, you recommend personally? Well, the test phase, in testing phase, oh. yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I start. I usually start with. Uh, it depends. Uh, anyways, uh, with a minimum of uh, 100 euro for a campaign, for a campaign. Mm -hmm. But I just test uh, to to ma to, uh, to much campaign, too many campaigns. So mm -hmm. I really don't know. But the, the testing phase for me is uh, the most important because uh, I can uh, really read uh, read the uh, data. Data. The data. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. So I can uh, understand what uh, is working. But yeah, that really is a real shark to read data. So maybe that, that kind of numbers aren't uh, like the other one people because he read data in in a time that is. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just work with incredible. Uh, so infinite, infinite um, some conversion uh, uh, with mm -hmm. cell everywhere. I need. I really need uh, to, to read data for. Uh, or go to conversion. Mm. Got it, got it. So you just put in a little budget and just make sure that Facebook do its work, do its own work on what, what you gave instructions on and just get the data and read through it and see how does it look and then just decide how to optimize it or kill it. And right? that's yeah. a great one. I read yeah. out of and guys. Every event of, the, of my funnel, uh, I read the, the cost, I read the, the CPC, the CPA, CPR, uh, the engagement, uh, I read everything because I need to mm. uh, on the, what is working. Absolutely, yeah. That that key points, like let's say even like engagement key, like these kind of little things, like getting more CTR, this will actually decrease the ad cost like crazy. Right? Yeah. Not not a lot of people will actually understand this, but yeah, that's crazy. And guys, here is a quick question for you again. So, what what was the biggest mistake in your life, both of you? Like like what is your biggest mistake? Because we want to learn from your mistakes as well. Uh, uh I think. Uh, 
Fluency, fluency of our course because uh, I I'm not able to speak to the public, so uh, was really really hard, hard for me to to make uh, mix video where where I try to teach uh, someone uh, uh, what uh, you can do with Facebook ads. Well, I am a, um, a nerd, so I prefer to to stay with along with my computer and uh, work. Yeah, but you're good. You're good at what you're doing. You know, you, you're definitely good at speaking as well. I totally appreciate it. <laughs> and how about how about you, Alberto? Thank you. Uh, if if we talk about business, uh, I can see freelance too because uh, uh, maybe we don't understand uh, how uh, how much time you need to to grow a community. So maybe it was it was a it was a mistake. Yeah. If you talk about life, I can say, I can say you that uh, my mistake was uh, about do not understand those kind of things that I'm talking about with you before. <laughs> Just that <laughs> we was um, um, a good work. So I can I can say you that uh, my mistake was to choose uh, the work or maybe something like that. I I'm doing what I want to do. Maybe absolutely. <laughs> I I I can start before, just that. Absolutely, absolutely, I agree, guys. And you're doing great, actually. I I love both of you guys. You know what I mean? It's great to have you on the show. And like like what are like who are the main p key people involved in your success? Like mentors or team or someone like that? Like what? Like how did you manage things in that place? I I I just love uh, same ones. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, great. If uh, yes, uh, some moments uh, and uh, software. Well, uh, when I want to start with an info product, uh, usually I go to to see his funnel, uh, his controversial marketing, uh, and then uh, we try to to take uh, something that uh, is doing uh, and try to optimize it. Uh, optimize it, no? Uh, what uh, what he did? Optimize. Optimize what he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds great. Shout out to Sam Owens again, the god, you know, the, the god of, you know, the whole thing of how to high sell high ticket, absolutely. And how about you, Alberto, like, who are the main key persons involved in success and, like, like how does it go for you? Maybe I, I can talk uh, at, at, at the beginning, I can talk about the Italian marketers who, uh, who, who I, work, I work with, because uh, uh, I started to 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 see from him what what we can do with uh, with a computer with uh, with online uh, and that. After that, I decided when when I, I reach uh, a level, I decided to 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 study from uh, from America. So mm -hmm. I I try to to see all all type of marketers and to to recreate to have um, one way. But um, if uh, you have to mention, if I have to mention one, I have to mention Sam Owens. But not just before we, we do this. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Absolutely, love it. Love the whole answer, guys. So, like an another question. It's like more thing where my audience can find you. Like, do you have any offers where you mentor the people who are watching? Let's say, like you're giving cool information about Facebook ads, funnels, scaling businesses, whole strategy, like reading the data, and some ninja stuff, right? So like, where can my audience find you mentoring? Do you have any open spots or something like that? Or any group which we can connect to? You can find uh, us on Facebook, of course. Mm -hmm. We have uh, an online site, but uh, it's uh, just a, a site to show what we can do. We, we, we work too much with Facebook. Yeah. Daniel is always on Facebook. Always. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Zook loves you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> He's, he, <laughs> So absolutely. Much with, uh, with yeah, I'll, I'll add both of their uh, like Daniel's and Alberto's uh, profiles in the comments so that you can actually add them up and hit them up if you need any help with funnels or you know ads and every other stuff. Probably you'll work together or you at least get some information of how things go with them, right? That's a great one. And guys, like, what do you want to say? Like, before we conclude, any last words? Like, what? Like, what is your whole message to the audience who's watching right now? Uh, first of all, I, I want to ask you sorry for my our English is no, not yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> first of all, I, I completely, I completely thank you for being here, Ryan. You know, first of all, like this is the one I really admire at you. You're taking action even if you're not good. Already, you are in a different situation when it comes to business and agency stuff and that kind of thing, right? But even though you're not, like, I'm not saying that directly, but 
it's like you are still have that misconception that you're not good but you're doing well I, I, like people who are watching it admire it they love it like almost 12 people are watching right now they admire your value they admire you they admire your your, your knowledge which is in here right and the value which you're giving out so nothing to worry buddy you you did really well and we we'll love to have you on show again in the coming future excited for that as well so what was your conclusion for the whole thing any messaging for the audience Huh? No, 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 no. To, to, not to repeat every time same things uh, what i want to say is uh, thank you thank you to all, uh, to all. Yeah. and we was very glad to be to be to be here man and i hope to to hear you soon and uh, maybe to to have another one of that uh, <laughs> absolutely we'll travel together when we get to tell your stuff like that right about the, the way to 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 have to the the mentality to to take so I want to just thank you to my uh, all all of you. Yeah. Absolutely. We we're, we're grateful for that and again guys Alberto and Daniel thanks for amazing opportunity and thanks for taking out your time and doing something which is not making you comfortable, right? I really see that in your face but thanks for being here and putting out some time giving the lot of free value and content for the people who are actually watching it and giving them your life lessons, right? You know how much it costs for you and you're giving them completely for free. That's what we actually love. and hopefully guys everyone watching this these dudes are amazing alberto and daniel thanks again for being on the show again thanks for the opportunity and i'll be looking forward for another interview for you and viewers who are watching just be on the show again we'll get back with another two comma club award interview thanks again guys peace out thanks you thank you